So our task this lesson is to sketch from this curve, which is the curve f of x, we have to scurve what the, sketch what the derivative curve would look like. And we do that via what the tangents look like at each point. So the way to start, and I'll do it on the next page, is to look at the stationary points, plot them, and then we're going to section off the curve at those stationary points and then have a look at the tangents before the stationary point, in between the stationary points and after the stationary points. Okay, so the first thing we do is have a look at where the stationary points are, where the tangent is zero, and we section that bit off. So there's a stationary point there, there's a stationary point there, and we might also note that around here, the curve changes from being concave up concave down. So that's an important part right there as well. Okay, and we section it off. I find it the easiest to do this. And we continue that down here. Okay, you don't. So we're drawing the derivative. So what is the derivative? It's the gradient of the tangents. So we need to have a look at the tangents. So before the stationary points, if I start up here, that's a very steep negative gradient, a little less steep less, less, eventually coming to zero. So it's very negative, going to nearly zero. So the first thing I plot is that at this point here, what is the tangent at that point there? Well, the tangent is zero. So I put a zero on that same spot. And I can do the same with the one over here. So the derivative at that point is zero. What's happening before that point? Well, before that point, the tangents are very negative. So in this area down here, and heading up to zero. So very negative, heading up to zero. What's happening after it? Well, probably the same thing looks like. If I draw the tangents, that one zero, which we've got, very negative, more negative, more negative, more negative. So they're becoming increasingly negative. So they've gone from zero, getting more negative, going that way. All right, and then we look at this point here. That's where the concavity changes. And common sense would tell you, if you're looking at this graph here, it's probably, to connect, has to look like that. And why is that so? Well, at this point here, concavity changes. So before that, it was zero, positive, more positive, more positive. Zero, more positive, more positive. But at this point, then the tangents start becoming less positive, quite positive, less, less, back to zero. So looking something like that. And that's a cubic, and that's a parabola. And our short methods of differentiation would tell, not that that's exactly x cubed, but out of a cubic, if I derive it algebraically, I get a, an x squared, which is this curve here. All right, let's do another one. OK, what happens if we try and sketch the derivative of a parabola? So we're starting with an x squared, a minus x squared. So short differentiation would tell us we get an x function, a straight line. But let's have a look at how that's going to occur graphically. So there's the stationary point there. At that point, the tangent is 0. So on the next page, I'm going to plot that in and then have a look before and after. Just included another two. The original function is the function in red, 
you can see that's a cubic and the derivative function is the function in blue so a cubic goes to a parabola there's the stationary point there beforehand derivatives are negative but increasing up to zero and after it the tangents or the derivatives are positive and increasing okay the final one is a straight line so in red you've got the function and in blue you've got the derivative so they're both straight lines so this is the function y equals 3x plus 1 now you guys know if I derive that I just get y dash equals 3 which is this gradient function here so the derivative function has a y dash value, a y value of 3. And that makes sense because if you think about the gradients along this line, they're all at the same. They're all, because it's a constant line, then it's a constant derivative the whole way.